A jewelry heist, a royal robbery, people are calling it all sorts. Well, this is from the Facebook page of the cathedral. It shows the items that have been stolen. Two crowns and a royal orb. They were stolen from displays which were open to the public, but the cathedral saying these were alarmed and locked displays. So whoever's behind this heist has obviously scouted the joint. They've gone in, as you might see in a movie, and stolen uh, priceless pieces of Sweden's history here. Now, in a statement uh, on uh, police report. They show this image here, which shows the jewels in situ. The items stolen being these two crowns and this orb. There are other items pictured here, but these are the ones confirmed stolen. You can see here how they are displayed to the public. The police saying the thieves made a getaway in a motorboat, and after uh, the police did pursue them, trying to catch them at the moment, nobody has been captured and nobody's been held responsible for this theft. So, seen as a very brazen robbery, stealing some of Sweden's most priceless historic treasures from a cathedral and an escape in a boat. You can understand how this is getting people talking. Well, local people, we've been looking at the local uh, Facebook group, this cathedral just west of Stockholm. In the local Facebook community, people there responding with a mix of anger, speculation, and here really quite extraordinarily strong sentiment, saying that execution is the only possible uh, um, punishment for a crime like this, attacking the country's heritage. Um, other people, though, saying that no one from Sweden would have done this. It's got to be someone from outside. So this idea that this is really a crime, not just against uh, the jewels and history, but actually against an element of Swedish identity. The suggestion here, no Swedish person could have been behind it. People on Twitter as well commenting on this, and this one I think sums up a lot, what a lot of people are saying, that second to violence against humans and animals, it's when people go after history. That's what really upsets people. It's not just that uh, expensive items have been stolen here, but historic items have been stolen as well. So at the moment, there is no update on what has happened to these priceless historic jewels after they were stolen from that cathedral west of Stockholm. Police appealing for information. The search goes on and we'll have the latest for you as and when it happens, as I'm sure you'll be very keen to know, as we all are, what's happened to these priceless relics.